What's going on guys? It is your boy RJ and I'm back and again with another video. If you kind of don't notice, uh, what you call it, I am doing this uh, vlog off my freaking iPhone mainly because I forgot to bring my camera. Yeah, I know it wasn't responsible, but I was like already halfway, I'm already halfway to the gym and I was like, oh, you know, I think I forgot my camera. I'm forgetting my camera. So I'm just doing the vlog off with the iPhone, you know, just got to get this content out for you guys. And yeah, this topic of the video is about shoes to use at the gym. So uh, you'll see that in a bit, but right now, like I said, on our way to the gym. So let's get it. So welcome to the shoe portion of the video. Um, so uh, yeah, let's get it. So the shoes I'm gonna be talking about to lift in, these are the shoes that like I have personally experienced or know, of, or know people that have experienced them. So uh, lots of shoes, there may be shoes out there that you can actually lift in. I just probably don't know about it because I've never tried it, so I can't give a proper written view. So the shoes I'm going to be talking about to lift in. These are the shoes that, like, I have personally experienced or know of or know people that have experienced them. So uh, lots of shoes. There may be shoes out there that you can actually lift in. I just probably don't know about it because I've never tried it, so I can't give a proper written view. But once again, these are the shoes that I have tried and other people that I've known tried. So let's, uh, so we're gonna sort this thing from uh, cheapest to high price. So the first shoe we're gonna start off with are Converse. Uh, Con in particular, the Converse uh, Chuck Taylor All-Star ones. These are like really, have a lot of cat fur and lint on them. But yeah, Converse All-Star Chuck Taylor. Uh, you know, most of them will have this branding on it. And the reason why is because they have a solid uh, which you call it solid outsole or insole whatsoever. So when you do your bench deadlift squat or when you when you squat or deadlift uh, They're gonna be really solid um, You're not gonna move around too much. Uh, you're not it's not gonna like if, right, Let's just say you wear like a uh, softer shoe It's gonna compress and it's not gonna make you balance, but with these shoes They're like it's like on concrete. Sorry, just lint flying all over the place. But yeah, it's like you're on concrete and yeah, like I said, you're gonna be planted on the floor more. You're not gonna slip around, and you're just you're gonna stay on your heel that's flat. So these shoes can range. So there's a wide range. You can find some Converse. I got these actually for like 30 bucks at the freaking Converse outlet in Oregon. Uh, but they, if you want, they're like the retail pair. They're like about 50, 50, like 50 to 60 bucks, depending on the color and the style you get. But if you get the regular Chuck Taylor All Stars, that's gonna be about 55 bucks. By the way, if you see a glare right there, that's just the light. I tried my best to like make the light go away, but it just glares right here. So I tried my best as possible not to make it glare. But yeah, just to let you know. Con we got uh, con con we got Vans. Uh, Vans uh, basically same reason why you would use a Chuck uh, because they're solid, they're cheap. Uh, if you want an all-around lifting shoe. Chucks and Vans are the best way to go. If you don't want to spend too much money for lifting whatsoever, Chucks and Vans are your way to go because they're solid. You can use them for squats, you can use them for deadlifts, bench, you can use them for anything, and they're cheap. So, well, some people have a wide range of cheap, but uh, yeah, cheaper than the most most of the shoes that are on the list right now. So, uh, yeah, so like I said, next up we have the Nike running shoes that goes for like the free runs, any Nike running shoe. Uh, you can train in them, however, I do not recommend doing deadlifts or squats, anything like that with those with these kinds of shoes, mainly because they're really flexible and they're super squishy. So if you were to do a squat, your heel is going to end up compressing and you don't want that because then you're going to be all wobbly and you don't want to be wobbly while you're doing squats. Trust me. These shoes can range, uh, I'm basing it off of Nike.org. Uh, these shoes can range from about 60 to 120 bucks, depending on what style you get. These are the Nike Free Run 3.0s. These are really old. I think I got these for like 95 bucks uh, back in the day. But yeah, you can use these shoes for training. Do not recommend doing squats or whatsoever. Next shoe that I'm going to talk about, I personally don't have, but I know many people that do have them, and that's the Nike Metcons. I'll have a picture or some around but five of them right here uh, but yeah those shoes are a good all-around training shoe uh, like chucks or vans uh, like you can squat you can deadlift in them I know they're really solid I personally don't have them I just didn't want to feel like spending the money on them because I have chucks or vans um, but yeah those shoes they can range from looking at nike.com again they can range from about 75 or to retail 130 and 
yeah, I don't think you could go wrong with that shoe. If you want an all-around training shoe, that, that's a good shoe to go to. Next up, we got the Nike Memorials. Uh, there are uh, them right here. Uh, once again, I'm sorting these through price, and these are actual weightlifting shoes. Uh, these shoes are used for your squat, your deadlift. You can use them for almost any exercise. Yeah, you can basically. So uh, with these shoes in particular, they have a heel. Uh, I'm probably pointing at nothing right now, but they have a heel uh, that kind of helps you. I personally haven't used them, but uh, for what people say, you know, they they just basically keep you upright more. They you, you're, if you're squatting, or it's more focused on your quads and all that stuff. Never used them because I didn't really need them. Didn't feel like spending the money for them. Once again, that's why I have Chucks and Vans. I prefer Chucks and Vans over these, but if you feel like if you're getting serious with powerlifting, I recommend you get these. If you're not too serious with powerlifting whatsoever, you don't have to get these, but if you want, I mean, it's your money, go ahead. Next up, we have my favorite, one of my favorite training shoes, is the, which is the NMD R1s. This is the, uh, what you call it, the Flynet version. Uh, let's get a focus on this. You guys might have seen me unbox this if you watch my older videos. But yeah, these are the Flynet versions and these are the Mesh version. As you see, they are really beat up. I really use these shoes for training. The main reason why I use these shoes for training is because, well, one, they are super comfortable. At the same time, they're actually solid at the same time. They're solid but comfortable. This, in addition, they, uh, they're they pretty breathable. Uh, I mean, this one's made out of Mesh. This one's a little bit, is made out of uh, uh, Flynet. Uh, Primate? Prime it, prime it. Sorry, <laughs> it's, this one's made out of prime it, which is Adidas thing. Um, this one's more breathable though than this one. These shoes, this one retails about for 170. This one retails for about 130. However, you can go on Goat or Stock X, by the way, not sponsored, and you can find these shoes for cheaper. So you can, if you want to use these shoes, they're actually really stylish at the same time. If you want to be stylish at the gym and have good performance, then use these. However, once again, I would not recommend squatting or deadlifting in these because these are, are boot, it's made out of boost, so it will compress and you don't want that. Next up on the price scale, we do have uh, the Nike Flyknit Racers. These are also one of my favorite training shoes. Uh, same reason for the boost, they are really comfortable and at the same time, they're solid at the same time. Not too squishy. But they're still a solid shoe. Here's this switch, but this shoe, this is the black and white Volt version. I don't know the actual color for this one, but yeah, they're really solid. They're and at the same time comfortable. And this is also the Oreo version, which is actually a little bit more popular. Uh, there's that. This is not really a good in-depth shoe review. The good thing about these shoes is that if your feet sweat a lot, these are basically like I don't know if you can like see it, but yeah, you could you could see the little ins thingy moving there. You can, it, your feet can really breathe. So if you have a problem with sweaty feet, these feet are these uh, these feet. These shoes are the way to go. Um, your feet won't sweat much, little to less. I mean, you'll sweat a little bit, but you're gonna have good ventilation with these shoes. This shoe can range about if you go on Goat or StockX, it can start around sixty bucks. But for retail, these shoes go for one fifty. And if you go for more limited colorways those will go up higher. All right, next shoe we got, we got the Adidas Ultra Boost. Now, these shoes are my all-time favorite shoes, so I'm maybe a little bit biased, but I'm, I am just going off of price here. The good thing about the Ultra Boost, it is actually supposed to be a, run, it is a running shoe, and, you know, they're, if you ever put on a pair of Ultra Boost, you'll know why. These shoes are, are probably the most comfortable shoe ever. Like, I mean, and they also look, they look super good. This is the My Adidas Custom version. Uh, can't really find you can probably get the code out uh, I got these uh, these were super these were like limited whatsoever and then this is also the triple black uncaged version uh, once again limited this is a limited one uh, I got the white sole all this stuff and it's really if you get the uh, what do you call it the 1.0 versions they don't have this continental also but really comfortable shooter lift in once again I have to iterate you cannot, I mean, you can, if you want, you can squat, but I would not recommend squatting in these, or deadlifting in these shoes. Benching is fine, squatting, deadlifting, no, I would not recommend unless you want to be super unstabilized and this thing, these things will like compress, like these, they will compress. Since the Ultra Boost hype actually has been going down lately, lately uh, the price has gone down. You can find like they retail for about 180 bucks, depending on the color and limited or whatever version you get. Like if you get the uh, what do you call it, the Parley version, those ones are 200. But usually they retail for about 
uh, 180 bucks. However, if uh, you go on GOAT or StockX, depending on the colorway, you can even find them for cheaper. So if you can find them for cheaper, hey, go ahead. But if you don't, if you can't, trust me, these shoes are worth the 180. Trust me. Last but not final shoe we have here is the Nike Ad. I need water. You gotta stay hydrated when you're talking with these things. I get really cotton mouth for some reason. No, sorry guys. I know this thing right here is, bo I, it's, it's probably bothering me while I'm editing the video, but yeah, sorry. It's the glare. I can't fix the light where it won't glare. I can't take off my glasses or else I won't be able to see, so. All right, so like I said, next but final shoe we got here is the added power, power lifting shoe. So same goes with the Nike Romalio, 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 whatever, tomato, tomato. Uh, it's a power lifting shoe. It's, you can work, you can work out with a shoe anywhere you'll be fine but i don't i wouldn't recommend getting the shoe unless you're a serious power lift a power lifter or a serious bodybuilder that wants to get uh what you call it mm, like activation in your quads and all that stuff there's probably a whole bunch of facts that i'm not saying about the like these power lifting shoes i don't know too much because i don't wear them but however i do know people who do wear them so uh yeah, the, these shoes, I mean, if you're serious into powerlifting, if you want to stand more upright in your squat, then I will recommend you getting these shoes. So next up, this shoe, do you need a lift in this shoe? No. Do you need to buy this shoe? No. But if you want to, you can. So, of course, we have the Adidas Yeezy 350s. These shoes are expensive. They retail for 220. I got this one for 242 at retail. This is the total for retail. This one you can't find for retail. It's like freaking almost 400 bucks. Do you need these shoes? No, you don't. But if you wanna, yes, you can wear them. Once again, I would not recommend squatting or deadlifting in Yeezys at all. Uh, not just because of price. I mean, you know, if you're gonna pay amount the X amount for a shoe, yes, by all means, wear them. Like, even though I haven't even worn these yet, because I just haven't found the time to wear them. But for other lifts and stuff, yeah, they're actually a pretty good shoe to lift in. They have boost in them, so what makes them super comfortable. Uh, however, if you're gonna do like a lot of crease, there, let me use this one since it's a little bit more. If you're gonna do a lot of creasing movement like this, yes, I'm probably hurting a whole bunch of people's necks or whatever, cringing. But yes, if you're gonna you know do that about a bunch of those movements they do feel kind of weird i wouldn't recommend i mean if you want i just feel i just thought when i was doing uh, cable crunches it felt super weird i was just like eh i don't like it i feel like very unstable in the shoes so uh yeah you can lift in these shoes if you want do you have to no i mean they're easy i mean they're, they're shoes okay these are all just shoes okay i can toss them whatever but then i don't want my bet to get dirty bubble also, another thing is that the prime knit on here is really thick, so your feet will sweat a lot. Um, uh, just from my experience from lifting and the, this one in particular, uh, yeah, your feet will sweat a lot in these shoes. So I would say, I would, eh, you could still work out in these shoes if you want. If you want. Would I recommend it? Mm, nah, not really. If you want, yeah, go ahead. I have. So, yeah. Okay, I also want to iterate. Uh, Go towards the shoe that best fits your budget. I am not telling you to buy, these are the shoes you can only lift it. If you're, you know, whatever, uh, just go towards the shoe that fits your budget. No, you don't have to buy the Yeezys. No, you don't have to buy your Converse. However, however, if you're going to squat or deadlift, make sure the shoe is like, can has like a canvas outsole because you want that part to be solid and my bicep is cramping right now. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you want that part to be solid. Um, other than that, you know, go towards, you know, use what you have. That's what I did when I first started lifting, just use what I had, all that stuff. Um, yeah. And that's gonna wrap up this portion of the video of the whole lift shoe to lift in. Uh, I know it's kind of long, but yeah. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video and you're gonna leave, then I wanna thank you for watching the video. If you're not gonna leave, enjoy. All right, so, oh my gosh, hi. Oh, I'm tired. I'm mentally tired. I'm just getting in my car because I almost forgot my camera because I was going to the gym. Oh, I'm in a hot ass car. Hope you guys enjoyed that part of the video. Um, I obviously, I actually did not even record that part of the video yet at this moment. 
but you guys already saw it, so yeah, that's how it is. Obviously, we are going to the gym now. Um, I'm actually and I'm driving my BMW again. Um, for some of you guys don't know, I am actually selling the BMW. Um, and no, I'm not gonna uh, uh, what you call it. I am not gonna accept YouTube offers. You can DM me on Instagram, but not YouTube offers, and you have to be local only to Washington, Seattle area. Today we are going to do some deadlifts. We're doing 340 pounds for one rep. I'm pretty sure I'm only gonna get one rep because it, it's three, it's, I'm doing my max again. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, last time I did 340 pounds, I was like almost a year ago, I think. It was almost, it's almost close to a year. Uh, but we'll see. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I can do it because I did 330 pretty clean last time. But yeah, I'll see you guys at the gym. Also, forgot to show that it's a really, really nice day. It's about, oh, you guys cannot see that, but it is 76 degrees. It's supposed to be about, uh, what do you call it? 80 degrees today. But yeah, super nice. Uh, doesn't, I, I'm probably super dark right now, but yeah, it doesn't usually get this nice around here, but, uh, well, it does because it's the summer. I'm hot. I don't know. You can probably see I'm freaking sweating right now. There's a fingerprint on the freaking lens. Okay, I'll see you guys. Thank you. So, first set, we have 270, and we're doing this for five reps. Alright, so next set we have 305 for 3. Alrighty, so welcome to the voiceover or commentary whatsoever. I'm sorry, that was really crunchy. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, we're going to voiceover to the, the the workout. So we started off with some or after the deadlift. I did some cable rows. I think I did about okay. I honestly don't remember. Uh, just looking, I probably did about six four ah, four sets of six to eight reps. Um, going pretty heavy on that uh, that set was pretty heavy so I bumped it up. Uh, next up I did some lat pull downs. This is about 8 to 10 reps. I don't remember but I'm just basing it off like you know like what I usually do. Uh, just make sure on this you get your full contraction down and, and uh, yeah, you get your full range of motion. Always get your full range of motion. Um, after that uh, I did this uh, chest supported dumbbell row. Uh, I don't usually do these often but I am gonna start um, Make sure, like, once again, you want to go your full range of motion. Uh, this is my kind of, I think this is my second set doing them. Uh, I did this for about 12 rep, three sets of 12 reps. Um, but, yeah. Um, this, yeah. I don't really do these too often, like I said. But, yeah, I, I'm saying yeah too much. A lot. <laughs> uh, the last exercise we did, uh, this was a uh, cable pull down, a pull over, whatever you call it. I did this for about three sets of 15. Um, I don't really do too many back exercises. Not, like, I need to add more back exercises. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Follow my Instagram, and I'll see you guys in the next video.